Hi guys, uh, we're continuing on from the previous video uh, looking at an example on the Buckingham Pi theorem. We've completed the first four steps, so we're up to creating Pi groups. Uh, we found uh, how many repeating variables we have, we've identified what the repeating variables are, and we found out that we need to construct five Pi groups. We're going to pretty much copy this layout. Uh, for the term at the front, all of all the uh, repeating variables, so the u1, u2, uh, uk minus r, we're just going to cycle through the function uh, without the repeating variables. So this is our function. We've identified uh, length, g, and rho as our repeating variables. So, so we cross them out from here. And from that first term, which was u1, u2, all the way to ukr, we're just cycling through each of the other terms. So we'll go from, for pi1, we'll have q out the front. For pi2, we'll have a out the front, then uh, roughness out the front, then slope, then uh, viscosity. So we'll see how that works. Um, but for the first pi group, we're going to have q out the front. So this is step five. Creating our first pi group with q out the front. Next, we put in our repeating variables. So in this form here, ukr minus one, minus r plus one, uk minus r plus two. They're all repeating variables. So we're just chucking r, l, rho, and g in there. There are repeating variables, and we put that to the power of alpha 1, I don't know that many Greek letters, so I'll call that B1, gamma 1. So we have our three repeating variables with indices, and we've defined our first pi group. So we're just cycling through our function to the next one. A is going to be in our pi 2. Our second pi group will have A out the front, L, rho, G, repeating variables, then we'll have alpha 2, beta 2, gamut 2. And for each pi group, we get different indices. So this isn't a alpha 1, it's alpha 2. They're all different. We're going to solve for different indices. Pi 3, again, cycling through this function, we've gone Q, A, now right.